Hi everyone, Yasmin from Sydney, currently stranded in Cusco, Peru. It's Monday the 30th of March and we are on day 15 of our lockdown here. I wanted to express how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, it's been a tough couple of days. Um, been feeling quite low but trying really hard to stay positive. Um, and have faith that everything will work out and that we will get home. It's just really hard when other countries around you are leaving. And it's also hard when the situation and circumstances are changing as well. The lockdown here in Peru has been extended to midnight the 12th of April which means that's an extra 12 days from what we what was originally put in place on top of that I got news this morning from my travel agent that LATAM Airlines have cancelled all of their commercial flights for the month of April so lockdown till the 12th at this stage, no commercial flights until the 30th, 1st of May, sorry. That's another four weeks. We've already been here in quarantine lockdown for two. That's another four, that's six weeks. No one wants to be here that long. And no one wants to be stranded without anyone coming to their aid for that long. Sorry guys. The Chimu Adventures flight left yesterday, taking approximately 260 Australians home. So we are now approximately about 140 or so here in Peru, and about 90 of that number are in rural areas. I'm very happy for the Aussies who have gone home. However, I have to be honest, I'm a little unimpressed with Chimu Adventures at the cost of that ticket, as it is ludicrous and unaffordable for many. It feels like in these circumstances that people take advantage of people in tough situations. And that's not okay. Diana Nelson, Ambassador to Australia in Peru and Bolivia. Your communication via Twitter to us stranded here in Peru hasn't given us any hope or comfort over the past two weeks. After countries, sorry, other countries have been communicating with their people daily, sometimes twice a day, with efforts and updates on what they are doing for their people. How is it you can only manage a tweet here or there and with no substance? Foreign Minister Maurice Payne. Considering up until now, it is us Aussies who have been waiting on advice from you, our Foreign Minister and DFAT, I have some advice for you. I think you should call up one of the Foreign Ministers from with whom you had a teleconference call on the weekend, Canada, Brazil, Germany, Italy, and ask them how they have managed to repatriate their people from all over the world during this time, and specifically Peru, where it seems the Australian government is unable to do this, or not all, and has no desire to, as we know, and you have communicated to us in writing that you have no plan to repatriate Australians from Peru. My understanding is that DFAT's purpose is to actually manage through these kinds of crises and help Australians abroad. Your entire job is speaking with international governments and other foreign ministers. 
You're a public service for us. Where is the assistance for us? This is your sole purpose. Scott Morrison, MP. Your leadership has proven to not at all be for the benefit of the Australian people. You left for a holiday to Hawaii while our country was burning. People lost their homes and their livelihood. And now you're blaming Australians for being overseas during this time. Such an immature and irresponsible statement to make for someone who is meant to be our leader. Australians, we should be supporting and helping each other right now. We're all suffering in different ways. Not putting each other down or blaming each other for the circumstance that they're in. Until you are in someone's shoes, you actually have no idea what they are going through. This is completely un-Australian and goes against the Australian spirit that we pride ourselves on. What do we need here in Peru? We need to get our people who are in remote areas to Cusco or Lima and then get us all on a plane home at a reasonable cost with payment options available. Somehow we seem to be the only country who can't do this. Why? We deserve the assistance and we deserve to be kept informed properly. As I've said before, we all pay our taxes. I don't know what the hell for.